Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more Cast Music Rock Star League. We are in the round of eight, and this is going to be a great one. We have Scan, someone that you see on this channel, Plenty, a good friend of mine and one of the world's best Terrans in the top right of Butter. And in this best of five, he is going to fight against one of the smartest Terrans of all time. It's Mind. Mind coming back very strong in this turn, just playing extremely well. Uh, recently and more recently than we're used to. Oh, he screwed up his SCV. <laughs> uh, how cathartic. Okay, the map is going to be Butter. I mean, TVT on Butter, it is a two-player map, so I guess there are some options to do more aggressive builds if you want. But, you know, uh, there's a little bit of rock, paper, scissors if you do go aggressive builds. So, not sure that we're going to see that from either side because I really do think of both of these players as, like, intelligence-based... Uh, like, I mean, they're both, obviously they're pro gamers, right? So they're good at everything, but like, you don't think of either of them as like a macro bot or something like that, right? Uh, anyways, we'll see where they're going to go, guys. Thank you very much, uh, for tuning in to Artosis Cast. If you'd like to support, obviously subscribing is a great way to do that. Uh, but there is also a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Artosis. You can check that out. And thanks to all of you who have supported through that way. Thank you very much. Uh, I am funding a bunch of matches currently for this. And as we wrap this tournament up, we will go into uh, some really fun stuff like Moonlight Pro League, some other uh, matches as well that I won't announce quite yet. Uh, but thank you very much to everyone. Appreciate it a lot. Now, on both sides, we're going for those regular gas timings. It's probably just going to be factory expansions. That is the norm. Mind with a normally timed scout. Checking is natural for a barracks. No scout or scan and that's actually okay especially on two-player maps you can really scout as late as like 15 or so on a two-player map and be okay against everything you're gonna have slightly less information but your minerals definitely begin to add up a bit more uh and that's gonna make your build just a little bit smoother like you're gonna be able to get into your depot and your marine production you're not gonna have to cut anything while you make your factory and there we go scan is gonna go ahead and send his scout out and his factory gonna be coming up in just a moment here so there it is. It's a 230 factory. It would have been if this SCV had not come up. That's kind of funny how much an SCV can screw up the timing of a factory. We saw it scan kind of uh, snake back and forth going up to try to get the factory down. Uh, but yeah, even delaying those few seconds is, is pretty annoying. Now the scout from scan comes down. He's going to see no natural as of yet. That's kind of the big thing you're scouting for. You don't actually need to dive into the main base right now because even if you were doing like some sort of cheesy like two factory build, the second factory wouldn't be up and you don't even have to be mining gas at that moment for the build. Uh, you know, there's there's a huge variety of them and you can like hide what you're doing until you have enough to push the SCV out. Uh, scouting can be a little bit difficult. But both of them are sending their barracks through at about the same time these barracks will reach the other main bases. But the SCV is going to dive in again as well. So, for instance, Scan sees the command center, turns around because he can save the SCV. No reason to dive in because, again, even <laughs> you can't tell what's going on. Like, when you get in here, even if he wants to go starport, if he wants to go second factory, you can't really tell unless there's gas. Guy's already on gas, but generally you just pull him off if the SCV comes in. And it's, it's worth it because then your opponent doesn't know what's going on. So let's see what these openers are going to be. Two on gas here one on gas here right now uh second factory should be coming up on both sides second factory for scan second factory for mind and still producing now the next thing we want to see is the add-on timing so there is the add-on for mind he is deciding that either he wants to go into siege tanks or he wants some vulture upgrades uh over on scan side still just producing vultures so he actually goes up the ramp and takes those high ground shots so that's actually very good for mine mine going to be up maybe two vultures maybe one so he's going to be up one vulture at the end of that you definitely want to run out of here this was a big mistake for him to go to the the right side but you know what he gets the marine so it's actually okay uh trading that for the marine is fine so at the end of the day like right now mind is up one marine <laughs> <laughs> right like he killed one additional marine that wasn't killed from his opponent that means the barracks isn't going to take additional damage that was a totally fine sacrifice his barracks gets in it sees three factory here from scan let's look down on this end scan landing the barracks 
This is a big move. He's coming in with two vultures of his own. There's only one vulture out here. This blocks more vultures from coming. So he's going to get a little bit of damage because of that. Right? With only one vulture here, this is super annoying. Now, the SCVs will want to go up and repair the vulture, but he's just going to target SCVs. There's no reason to do anything else here. Uh, you can sacrifice some vultures. Like, he loses one additional vulture total, but kills a lot of SCVs. Right now, Scan is up seven SCVs. He sacrificed the barracks for that. The amount that that's worth it is absurd. Uh, <laughs> now, oh, this actually does not completely block. Does that mean, did he land it wrong? Do you need to land it one up? I think? I think that's what it was, right? Like, you have to have it hug that little corner, which he's not hugging it there. So, Scan is actually just getting his vultures out. Maybe I'm wrong. No. I, this had to have blocked completely. Your mind would have gone out and defended his SCVs. It just doesn't make sense. But, anyways, right now, being up nine workers is insane. Like, you are so far ahead. I don't know how Mind can possibly win this. He's got to just win with Vultures straight up. But look, it's a perfect line of Vultures here for Scan. And as long as he's targeting well, you're not really going to break that. His production of Vultures is just as good. And now he's going to make a Siege Tank, which adds a lot of stability to him as well. We have Mines coming up for Mind. Uh, and I think on Mind's side, he's got to utilize the fact that a Siege Tank is coming out and lay those extra mines. So, and when the seed chain comes out and you're both going three factory vulture, the guy that didn't make the tank has more vultures. So you have map control at that point and you can do things like lay a bunch of mines. Now, there is a wraith on the way. So this is gonna screw up all the math for mind. He, let's see, does he have the armory? He does not. Okay, he cancels this and starts the armory because his uh, barracks floated over and saw the starport blinking. Uh, but this is going to be late, so he's going to lose multiple SCVs. There's going to be good scouting going on from Scan as well, and Scan getting that barracks back up again. So he's getting the barracks because he's going to need Academy and, of course, additional factories a little bit later on. But right now, this looks quite good for Scan. Now, with the four factory up, there's a possibility for Mind that he can gain an advantage uh, with the vultures, and that's what he's going to try. He actually dives onto the siege tank, but this is way too much damage. Some good micro back, and the vultures get too many free shots here. Mind at this point is dead, I would say. Look, 42 SCVs to 28. His massive vulture attack did not work. He dived on the siege tank. I think a lot of times it's better to dive on vultures because the siege tank DPS is not that high, and then clean that up when you're really winning the vulture count. But, uh, as is, he just finished the armory. Oh, he's not even making a Goliath yet. And that's going to be a GG. Scan takes game number one.